Hey there, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to dive deep into a topic that affects many of us, sugar consumption. Did you know that in the United States alone, the average person consumes an astonishing amount of sugar every year? It's a whopping 60 pounds per year. This is around 27,215 grams of sugar per year. That breaks down to average of 17 teaspoons per day for an adult. When we refer to sugar, it encompasses various forms, including both natural sugars found in fruits and added sugars, such as artificial sweeteners or processed sugars. So, should you seriously consider to quit or cutting off your sugar intake? Stick around until the end, and we'll find out together. So, let's start by exploring what happens when you quit sugar. First off, let's talk about the impact on your body. Number 1, you're likely to experience weight loss. Yes, you heard that right. Sugar provides little to no nutritional value and can lead to weight gain. When you consume sugar, it rapidly raises your blood sugar levels. In response, your body releases insulin, a hormone that helps regulate blood sugar. Insulin's primary function is to shuttle glucose sugar into your cells to be used as energy or stored for later use. However, when you consume excessive amounts of sugar regularly, your body may become resistant to the effects of insulin. This insulin resistance can lead to chronically high blood sugar levels and an increased risk of weight gain. So, by eliminating sugar from your diet, you're cutting out a significant source of empty calories. When you quit sugar, your body starts relying on stored fat for energy, which can help shed those extra pounds. Number 2, Your Energy Levels May Soar when we consume sugar, especially in large amounts or in the form of highly processed foods, it causes a rapid spike in our blood sugar levels. This spike is followed by a sudden drop in blood sugar, often referred to as a sugar crash. This roller coaster effect can leave us feeling lethargic, tired, and lacking energy. Now when you quit sugar, something remarkable happens. Your body starts to adjust and rebalance itself. Without the constant influx of sugar, your blood sugar levels stabilize, providing a steady supply of energy throughout the day. Here's how it works. When we consume sugar, our body quickly breaks it down into glucose, which is the primary source of energy for our cells. However, when we overload our system with excessive sugar, the body becomes less sensitive to insulin. Insulin is a hormone responsible for regulating blood sugar levels. As a result, your cells become more receptive to insulin, enabling them to efficiently take up glucose and convert it into energy. Number 3. Your skin may become better. When you quit sugar, you reduce the inflammation in your body, which can lead to clearer, healthier looking skin. How does this work? When you consume sugar, it triggers a process called glycation in your body. Glycation occurs when sugar molecules bind to proteins, including collagen and elastin, which are responsible for maintaining the elasticity and firmness of your skin. This process creates harmful compounds called advanced glycation end products ages. Ages can damage collagen and elastin, leading to the breakdown of these vital proteins. As a result of this breakdown, your skin may become more prone to wrinkles, sagging, and a dull complexion. Moreover, the inflammation caused by excessive sugar consumption can exacerbate skin conditions like acne and rosacea. When you quit sugar, you reduce the formation of ages and decrease the inflammation in your body. This, in turn, can improve the overall health and appearance of your skin. Also, high sugar intake can cause hormonal imbalances, particularly in insulin and cortisol the stress hormone. These imbalances can contribute to skin problems like acne and inflammation. So, by cutting out sugar, you're promoting hormonal balance, which can positively impact your skin health. Now that we've discussed some of the benefits, let's address the recommended sugar intake by professionals. The American Heart Association suggests that men with no diabetes or any other health condition should limit their sugar intake to no more than 36 grams per day, while women should aim for no more than 25 grams per day. However, keep in mind that these are just general guidelines, and individual needs may vary based on factors such as age, activity level, and overall health. It is important to consult with your doctor or a healthcare professional before making significant changes to your diet, especially if you have pre-existing health conditions. So, how can you slowly start cutting down your sugar intake? Here are a few tips. Tips number one, read food labels. Start by paying close attention to food labels. Sugar hides in many processed foods under various names, such as sucrose, fructose, dextrose, and high fructose corn syrup. Being aware of these hidden sugars can help you make informed choices. Tips number two, gradual reduction. Instead of going cold turkey, gradually reduce your sugar intake. For example, if you usually add 2 teaspoons of sugar to your coffee, try reducing it to 1 teaspoon, then to half a teaspoon, and eventually eliminate it altogether. Small, sustainable changes can make a big difference over time. Tips number 3. Opt for whole foods. Focus on consuming whole foods, such as fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains. These foods contain natural sugars and offer a wide range of essential nutrients, unlike processed foods laden with added sugars. And that's a wrap. By gradually reducing your sugar intake and opting for whole foods, you can make positive changes to your overall health. We hope that you found this video useful. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.